Hey Active, this is Jill Kinney. It's nice to be with you today. I've been asked to participate in our Live Actively program and bring you some thoughts on mindfulness. Mindfulness to me is about shifting. It's about getting out of one place of stress or discomfort and into a place of peace. So these are just some tips for me. What I wanted to do is just kind of give you sort of an example of a time that was stressful for me. So this particular occasion was right before a very important board meeting. I was going into a board meeting, it was very tense. So I'd spent weeks in advance thinking about how I wanted to address this. But for the couple of weeks leading up to that, I was, wasn't sleeping well during that time. The day of the board meeting, I, I got up early, I didn't eat breakfast, I had a huge cup of coffee and I was going into the board meeting holding a lot of stress right in my chest. My, my shoulders ached, my hands were sweating, my heart was racing. As I walked into the board meeting, right before I opened the door, my cell phone rang and it was my eight-year-old daughter telling me that my six-year-old son had just been taken away in an ambulance from a bike accident. So I elevated from one level of stress to an entirely different level of stress. As I drove to the emergency room, I was in my car and I was um, experiencing some really strong heart palpitations, everything that you could kind of think of that goes with that level of anxiety. And, and I went to my breath. It was one of, the, one of the tools that I had access to and it was something that I knew I could use and I needed it at the time and I tapped into my intentional breathing while I was driving to the emergency room. So today I've asked a good friend of mine, Brooke Beasley, to come in and join us. Brooke is a student of somatics, of yoga, and of meditation, and is somebody who has a great deal of experience in breath work, breathing, and how you can bring intentional breathing to address stress. Hello there. Hi. So Brooke is gonna take us through some intentional breathing exercises. And I use the breath a lot to release my own bodily and mental stress. It's when I notice that I'm in some sort of contraction, so that might be, ah, my stomach is tight and churning, or I'm mentally going around and around in circles, which some people might call worry or anxiety. I know that if I can bring my breath from a high, rather shallow place here in the, my upper lungs and bring it down into my belly, down into the Dantian it's called, I can slow all of that mental rat race down. I can relax the musculature of my body and I do that by literally thinking of grounding, thinking of bringing my energy down into the lower portion of my body, into my feet. If you've been in the sitting position, if you've discovered that you just lost everything on the computer or a particular document, get up on your feet and allow yourself to ground and just let the stress drain away through, let's say, three simple inhales and exhales. I would encourage you to be curious about your own stress patterns so that you can anticipate when you might use this tool of breathing. Ask yourself, where do I regularly experience stress in my life? When are you your most relaxed and um, how does your body feel then as compared to um, a regular day? So by identifying where you're most stressed, um, you can begin to say, all right, I wanna work with that. I wanna see if I can make an intervention in that pattern by bringing mindful, intentional breathing to those moments. So you know how we give our children timeouts to recover from tantrum or misbehavior. We also can give ourselves breathing 
timeouts and literally take the time to recoup and rebalance ourselves by using the breath. So when I'm doing that, I always get up on my feet and I bend my knees just slightly and I tip my uh, hips forward and I start to take a deep breath because invariably I have been breathing very shallowly up here and I want to bring my breath down to my belly. So with my knees just a little bit bent, because what I'm doing is I'm grounding myself. I'm reconnecting and bringing myself out of a stressed state and calming my nervous system. So I would normally, in not talking, I would just maybe even close my eyes and just focus on taking a deep breath and expanding into the chest and then exhaling. And starting my breath down as low in my belly as I can. And expanding the rib cage and the diaphragm as I'm coming up. So I really bring myself to thoughts of my anatomy. I'm dropping my shoulders. I'm inhaling deeply and fully from the bottom to the top. I'm holding just to a count of three perhaps and then exhaling. And I find that as I bring my, if I will bring my thoughts to, well, what am I breathing in? Well, I'm breathing in a, uh, a recentering. I'm breathing in relaxation. I'm breathing in positive life force. I'm breathing in enthusiasm. So give some thought to what am I breathing in? And then with the exhale, I'm breathing out negativity. I'm breathing out stress. I'm breathing out that story that is running around in my head. So I'm just taking a few minutes to practice some of the mindfulness that Jill was speaking about and adding the breath to it. Breathing in, holding at the top, and exhaling. And I might do that for a good five minutes, and it does make a difference. It really can impact our level of stress, whether it's at work, on the highway, or in the home. What I love about it is that our breath is always available. It's a tool that we always have and can use.